Here we're going to demonstrate how to remove the links from a motorcycle chain. The tools that you'll need is a 24mm spanner and a 19mm socket or spanner, whichever your choice is. The first thing to do is to identify what size punch and die you need to remove the actual pin out of the chain. So if you, to do that, if you get the, the die, put it over the pin, you'll see that the die just doesn't fit. You carry on until you get the one that does fit snugly, as you can see there, and that fits fine. Select the correct punch to go with it. You've now got the tools to do the job. Insert the die into the back of the unit. Insert the punch into the punch carrier. Wind it back out to give you some clearance. And put the unit back in. You want the gap in there big enough to allow you to slot the chain into, into position. So locate the chain, feel it located in the actual die itself. Move the pin carrier forward. At that point, if this is on a bike, you'd use the, the spanner in there to support it and then you'll start to ratchet the pin through. It's a careful process, so do it bit by bit. You'll see the pin starting to push through, starting to go all the way through. And the last thing you want to do is to push the pin all the way through. When you do that, you've got difficulty putting it back in. But we do have a solution in this kit to enable you to overcome the problem and put the pin back where it needs to go. Keep on ratcheting all the way through, keep on going, until you start to feel a bit of tension coming off. Now, if you feel the chain, the internal link, the bit on the inside, you can see that's tight. Keep on ratcheting, keep ratcheting, it's gone loose. It's now completely free of the pin, you can see it moving in and out, it's got movement there. So what that means now, the pin is now sat in the back link and inside the die at the rear here. So, just take the pressure off, as easy as that, take the pin out, pop it clear, take it out, you've then got the lip removed. This is the chain that we've just removed the pin out of. We've removed the link, so we now have the correct length chain. This would be now tested on the bike to make sure you've got the right links in the right place and everything's correct. So we're showing it in the vice here, it's far, far clearer. To insert the link back in, we need to set the finished unit to the correct link at the back. So some of these dies here, they're blind, they just have the correct setting piece. Insert the setting piece into the back of the extractor and select the correct size punch. That's the punch that we used to take the rivet out with, take the pin out with. The back of here has got the riveting head ready to, to re-peen the back of the pin. Insert the unit into there, push it home, wind it back, a little bit of clearance. Get the chain, and you can see we've still got the link sat in the chain, and reconnect it back together. So that chain is now ready to go and be re have the pin reinserted. Locate it into the tool and slowly start to feed the pin forward. Keep it in line, keep it in the right position, delicate little job. Now we're going to tighten this up completely and drive the pin forward. So keep checking on the chain, we don't want to bend the links, we want to keep it perfectly in line. So you can see here now, we're just ratcheting the pin straight the way through. Keep an eye on it, make sure it's level, make sure it's not on the, on the skew, and just drive the pin forward. Just keep it going right the way through, right the way through, keep it going. It's now going through the rear link, a bit of tension there, it's gone straight the way through. It's now set itself against the solid back plate. So now, put some pressure onto it, such as like that. We've now peened the front end back over. Release it, take it out, turn the unit over, making sure you've identified the link, turn it over, put it back in, and just make sure you've peen the other side, so there's no problem in that side of there. So just peen it back over. Then normally you'd be in the vice, in the, on the bike, so you'd use the two units like that in tandem to get the pressure that you want to re-peen. You've now completely reinserted the pin, 
it's peened over each side. It's got full movement in there, there's no locks, there's no twists, the chain is now free and ready to go back on the bike. The, the link. So when you actually split the chain, if the link did in fact come out, we have a solution to put the link back in. To do that, take the carrier out and select from the kit the long pin. Reassemble the chain onto the pin itself. So here you can see the pin going through. At the other end of the chain. So the whole chain is put back onto that pin. Feed the pin into the die. Like such, we then have the chain back together in here. You'll find in the kit a blind carrier. Into the blind carrier, slot the, da slot the pin and put the pin and the carrier into the pin holder. Wind the pin holder forward until it starts to contact with the carrier. You'll see now it transfers forward, keeping everything in line. Then ratchet the product up. As you push the pin in, the peg at the back disappears out. One thing to make sure is that you keep everything in line. The chain is sitting free, so make sure everything is perfectly in line and doesn't lock and jam. Keep the pin, keep it locked up, keep it going. And you'll see the pin disappears, the gap between the link and the carrier disappears. So what you're trying to do is push the pin as far forward as possible until the gap is all but gone and it won't go any further. Release the carrier, take it out, and you're back into the same process now for resetting and repeating. So take the carrier out completely, you've then got the chain back together, you then put the set pins into the back, get the correct die for riveting the front over, and you're back to riveting the complete pin. Put the whole thing together and reinsert it as in the previous part of the video.